VMware Virtual SAN vSAN is a new software-defined storage tier for VMware vSphere environments. vSAN clusters server disks and flash to create radically simple, high-performance, resilient shared storage designed for virtual machines. Hey there, everyone. I'm James Hilliard, and on our podcast today, pleased to have Peter Kelty on board, VMware Senior Systems Engineer, Software-Defined Storage. Peter will discuss how, with vSAN, many manual storage tasks are automated, delivering a more efficient and cost-effective operational model. Peter, thank you for taking time to join us here. And as you're out there talking to teams, what challenges do they share? Are tops on their mind when it comes to storage? Maybe the top two? Yeah, so tons of growth, and you know, storage is a major uh, pain for people, and we see that meeting SLAs and managing the infrastructure are kind of uh, two of the key factors that uh, the customers are having challenges with. Obviously, vSAN developed to help address some of those challenges. How does vSAN simplify storage? In a few ways. Uh, first off, uh, vSAN is built into the hypervisor. There's no installation. So different than normal storage where you have to build out an infrastructure, build out uh, LUNs and volumes, a vSAN is simply a checkbox uh, to enable it in the cluster, and the capacity is available for virtual machines to consume. And Peter, can you take a moment, give us a little more information here about how you see vSAN operating and how it simplifies IT overall. Yeah, uh, vSAN simply runs on standard x86 hardware. Uh, we take the local disks in the host, and we create a pool capacity that becomes a vSAN shared data store that can be consumed by the virtual machines in the cluster. And the last key point there is that we leverage SSD to accelerate reads and writes, and then we utilize the hard disks to persist and store the data. And Peter, I want to come back again to a top two. Top two use cases you hear from customers for vSAN. Uh, absolutely. So first off, anywhere there's vSphere clusters, uh, you can enable vSAN and take advantage of the capacity. Uh, but we see virtual desktop as probably the number one use case because we're leveraging local SSD to accelerate read and write caching. Uh, and we can deliver a very extremely low TCO uh, compared to other solutions for virtual desktop uh, because of the savings in storage. Uh, the other use case uh, that we see is probably a remote offices or anywhere where you'd rather not have to purchase an, a separate storage array. So you can just simply enable vSAN in a cluster and take advantage of the storage capacity that that brings you. Folks, you can see on the screen we do have other use cases. If you need more info on those, we can get you that information. But Peter, moving on here, without getting too technical, how do you build it? The simplest description is to say that you can take any host that you're running vSphere on today, and as long as that host is in the VMware vSphere support matrix, then uh, that would be supported for vSAN. Uh, then we do have a vSAN compatibility matrix for the RAID controllers, for the SSD or PCIe for that flash caching tier, uh, and then hard disks, uh, S SAS, nearline SAS, or SATA drives uh, is on. We have an HCL for that as well. So you can build your own, uh, but what most of the server vendors have done is uh, followed our guidance and provided some specific configurations from their portfolio of, of hardware uh, that match up with uh, virtual uh, vSAN node uh, configurations for either virtual desktop or for virtual machine workloads, uh, whether it's high, medium, or low uh, uh, capacity or performance requirements. So keeping those comments in mind, Peter, I want you to talk about the importance of choosing then the right IT partner to help. Uh, absolutely. You need to have a partner that can deliver on the uh, infrastructure. So that's, uh, that's number one. Uh, someone that you know and like to work with uh, is, is also always a uh, good thing. And uh, finally, you know, someone that has the expertise that, uh, that can handle the new technology that's out there, uh, vSAN being one of them. Uh, so we've been working with uh, PC Connections for a long time and have trained a good number of their uh, sales and service engineers, uh, systems engineers on vSAN technology, and they're able to, uh, to satisfy and help customers get, uh, get up and running. 
Hey, Peter, great place for us to wrap that up. Really do appreciate it. Folks, for you, if you would like to learn more about VMware Virtual SAN, vSAN, and software-defined storage, and the virtualization services that can help ensure your organization is ready to build an infrastructure ready for tomorrow, then turn to the PC Connection family of companies. I invite you to contact your account manager today to learn more about beginning your next IT project with an assessment, as well as engaging their on-staff experts. You're also in Invited to learn more at pcconnection.com or you can call 1 800 800 0014. If you want to email, that is pretty simple connect at pcconnection.com. With that, we're going to wrap things up. Once again, my name is James Hilliard. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Connection Point.